was another hot one out there today, wasn't it, Max yes, Ogle? Yes, it is, and it's still hot, 101 degrees. Wow. Do you know what happens during this time of year, Max? What's that? Around the coast, it is hurricane season. Oh, no. Hurricane. It's starting to begin. Yep. I think they had one on the Weather Channel the other night or something. Oh my gosh! Now the biggest question that we get in our coastal territories is how to protect your home during a hurricane. And I know we've got locations all across the United States, so we also want to talk about storms and tornadoes. Because the largest opening in your home is what, Max? The garage door. And it is the most vulnerable to? Wind whether it be negative or positive force it is always vulnerable to wind it can destroy the garage door it allows water to enter and destroy the home yep so it can cause what kind of damage i mean it can be anywhere as soon as your garage door is gone or leaking right inside there is sheetrock so instantly any water that gets on sheetrock is sheetrock damage um, can cause your house to flood easily to you know anything like that once your garage door is gone all of your interior walls in your garage is open to any kind of water damage so are there kits to help you take care of your garage door yes you can either have a professional install a um, garage door that will stand up to higher winds or you can actually get kits to install on your door um, that are that you actually turn on or latch when you have a high windstorm coming hurricane tornado something like that yeah because it's really expensive to replace a garage door yeah and you need somebody with a special set of skills yes like off taken um, is that the movie not, not, yeah, i have a special set of skills yeah, but that's the wrong kind of skills to install a garage door oh so it's better to get those kits it's uh, better for your budget than to get a whole brand new garage door because um, you want a safe option for high winds like tornadoes hurricanes and storms oh my yes they can get bad yeah, you don't want toto to go far away nope if you want to choose the cheapest option um, to reinforce your garage one of the following ways number one you can install pressure impact resistant devices. What are those, Max? Well, you can install something on your garage door that helps secure it so it can't be pushed open, you know, blown up, or anything like that whenever the wind's blowing hard. So you got two different wind forces, negative and positive, okay? One of them comes from inside the house, so if you get windows blown out, then your, then your garage door is actually blowing out of your house. And then the other one pushes on your garage door and tries to push it into your house. So there's mechanisms that you can install on your garage door that lock it into place where it's more sturdy to hold up to those pressures. When adding a bracing system, you want to ensure there's enough relevant documentation that the product's been tested and certified during laboratory testing. Yeah, you don't want to buy one off of Ted, your next door neighbor, just because he's cool and he built his own. You don't know if it's going to withstand anything or not. It might, and it might not. But wouldn't you rather buy one that's been tested up to a certain mile per hour of wind? Or would you rather be like, man, eh, this one looks all right. Now, do you need one, a system that does positive and negative um, wind resistant or just one or the other? Um, you need one that withstands both because you don't know which way the wind is going to blow. So it may blow from your side of your house that the garage door is not on. So if it blows your windows out on that side, then the pressure is going to be from inside of your house pushing your garage door out. So should they specifically talk to somebody at Lowe's and Home Depot or even more specific? I would probably talk to a garage door installation place. Um, there's several of them. If you look it up on Google, garage door installation, they can tell you and probably can quote you what kind of wind force that your garage door can stand up to. Yeah, so these are a couple of tips for your garage door um, in the storm season because fall, lots of thunderstorms happen in the fall. Also during hurricane season, um, 
That's just right around the corner. You said you saw it on the news the other yeah, night. There's, I think there's already a couple of them forming, so it is hurricane season is underway. So you can protect your home. And also, um, during tornadoes. Oh, my. <laughs> you want to protect Toto. Yep. Don't, don't, don't be caught with your garage door down. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you guys have an amazing day, and thank you for joining me, uh, me and Max. I'm Christy Ogle. Max Ogle. You guys have a terrific Monday night. Bye-bye.